Igbo leaders ask President Mamadou Buhari to order military out of Igbo land. Well, they want, you know, uh, Buhari to, you know, order them out the same way he ordered them to go to the eastern part of the country. Like I said in my previous news that the federal government and the administration of Buhari says the indigenous people of Biafra are terrorists. They have been named terrorists. And meanwhile, those guys or the indigenous people of Biafra, the Igbo in general, they are angry because of the genocide post and genocide, you know, uh, uh, way of administ administration of President Mahmoud Buhari and the Igbos are tired, so they are seeking for a referendum, division, and they are secessionists. So you can rather call them a secessionist or indigenous people of Biafra because they don't have any, you know, ulterior motive against the government. What they need is good governance. If there is no good governance, then there should be division in the country. Let the Biafra go their own way and let the Odudua people also go their own way, which they really want. And they also want Igbo governors to implement a Bubeagu security outfit immediately. And Buhari should send back or send out the military personnel that are disturbing the peace of Imo state or southeast in general well according to the article which i will be reading now it says Igbo leaders under the Igbo national movement inm yesterday called on president mamadou buhari to order military out of the five states of the southeast region the inm made this call in their statement to newsmen in oweri and signed by the president Anthony olisa okolo alongside other leaders barrister eze eluche Chief Ben Okoro, Chief Peter Agba Kalu, Nze Uguakwe Onwoka, and Onye Muche Mbachu. Regarding the number of military men in the name of insecurity, there, the reason for calling for the withdrawal of the military was that they were worried of a blanket shoot at sight order by uh, order that has been given by Nigerian's police chief to policemen on a special operation in the southeast region accompanied also by statements and directives which have already been put into effectiveness with the deployment of hundreds upon hundreds of soldiers and security personnel accompanied with recusite military hardware hmm. these soldiers or let me say because they, they those soldiers obey the last order i'll say the administration of president Mahmoud Bari, i believe the likes of Gary Bashew and you know, so on and so forth. Buhari does not want to, you know, protect the, the citizens because he was saying in his uh, remark when Arise TV was intervening, he said uh, the people that did not vote for him, there is no way he can assist them in any way. But since you are a leader of a country, you need to be diplomatic in your dealings. They vote for you, they don't vote for you, you are still their president because it is their taxpayer money that are using to funding the president, the vice president, the uh, government parastatus. So the senator also have benefited from it. Then if you now tell us that you, owe, you are only concerned with your people, and that is why the killing of Edsman had been going on for a while now, but has not said anything. Like I said previously, he said a fight on Boko Haram is a fight against the North. And the indigenous people of Biafra have done nothing wrong because it's under the constitution that you, there is freedom of speech, um, there is freedom of movement. Women be not cows, because they we want to justify it that uh, since the uh, constitution says there is freedom of speech and freedom of movement, you know they started you know parading their cows all over the country and causing chaos. They will venture into people's land and you know take their cattle to eat up their crops. After which the owner of the land you know comes out and accuses them. They would rather kill him and that is the reason why indigenous people of Biafra invented eastern security network to flush out the likes of the earthmen because they are carrying AK-47 and the government says anybody carrying AK-47 they should shoot the person at sight soldiers three days ago went in search for uh, in the northern part of, they went in search for these bandits they came back empty-handed and say they did not see anything for you to know that there is no smoke without fire. 
That is why the Igbo people are saying Buhari should order back the soldiers that they uh, reportedly you know, deployed to the eastern part of the country to cause mayhem. You know, uh, the uh, burning of station has been going on, killing of uh, police officers, and the, uh, the, the government of Buhari has said and labeled the indigenous people of Biafra uh, as terrorists and said they are the ones perpetrating evil or havoc and to destabilize his government. Why will he say such a thing? The Boko Haram that has been uh, unsent have not scattered your government. It is this uh, Biafra people that are just agitating for a referendum or for good governance. Well, let's continue. Uh, Igbo leaders under the Igbo National Movement, INM, yesterday called on President Mamadou Buhari to order military out of the five states of the southern region. Hmm. So very, very appalling. The INM made this call in their statement to newsmen in Oweri and signed by the President Atoni Olisa Okolo. Their reason for calling for the withdrawal of the military was that they were worried of a blanket shoot at sight ordered by, uh, by the President and the police chief to policemen on a special operation in the southeast. For this, among others, the Igbo group insisted that President Mamadou Buhari led federal government should, as a matter of extreme urgency, embark on express effort to demil demilitarize Ala Igbo and the southeast and the escalate the state of insecurity. By ordering an immediate withdrawal of the military from the streets of southeast cities and communities in Alaigbu, that the five southeast state governments of Abia, Anambra, Eboin, Enugu, and Imo states should, as a matter of urgency, codify and operationalize the indigenous security outreach, which they had all committed to for the region. Ibu Beagu is said that. Is said to be one of the security outfits that has been, you know, launched by the eastern, you know, uh, governors. They said the Bubagu security outfit should, as soon as possible, in collaboration with indigenous establishments such as the Town Union, step in to restore a bottom-up approach to security in the region. That the five state governments in or governors in the region, firstly at the local level and local government then at the state and finally at the regional level organized multi-sectoral non-partisan all stakeholders dialogue process summit on security solutions provided at this dialogue process summit should be implemented as soon as possible that indigo as a people or indigo as a people do not engage in foul incendiary and uncalled language to achieve our aims or to assert our guaranteed freedoms therefore they advise that Igbo groups and their leadership who does who does such do not represent the views of all Igbos and should not be used by the federal government to characterize the disposition of the entire southeastern geopolitical zone towards the rest of the country as indigo are firmly committed to non-violent and constitutional means for advising advancing our demand for a fair just and equitable country the ego leader said